This is Michael DeJoya with the Affinity Legends of Wall Street Trading Room. This is a, a very typical week before Christmas. Not a lot going on. However, guys, this week does officially start the January effect. So for those of you who have joined us in the January effect program, this is effectively where the market um, starts to bottom out from tax selling and um, starts to put in a flaw, so to speak. And, um, you know, really, I want to explain for those of you who haven't signed up for the list, and we're doing a class tomorrow night, which is the not the early list. It's the, um, it's the full list, you know, the January effect complete. Um, really, the setup this year, so far at least, is acting very much correctly for what the January effect should be, okay? Meaning that um, what the, 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 the rationale behind it, to my knowledge, um, and I've only traded the January effect for two years, is that there are fund managers, I mean, and I, I need, it's, with the visual, I want you to see. So the fund managers, the market's overall up this year. So January last year was here. This year we're here. Okay. Um, we did have that kind of big, huge collapse in August and then recovery. Um, the stocks that are really down, okay, are down massively, like FCX. Okay, so FCX down massively on the year, but gapping up today. So the fund managers don't want to have these stocks on the books. And because they don't want to have these stocks on the books, they sell them even though they're way down in them. And the rationale behind that is, is that they don't want to have them in their annual statements. Another one that's way down this year, Alcoa right, down this year, okay, Macy's down this year, okay, Macy's has an extra little added, you know, flavor, um, so you, you guys get the gist, these are stocks that, that you know, CHK, um, just to name a few, these are stocks that were really, really down this year, beaten up stocks, and they're not going to go down much more because they've already been beaten down. Okay, now the idea is, is to find 10 or 15 of these kinds of stocks, um, you know, and, and see that they are, you know, going to start to rally as the funds start to put them back on in the new year because they still, they rode them down. They want to ride them back up. They just don't want to show them on their books. Does everybody get the idea? Okay, so that's the January effect, and, and for those of you who, you know, why I like it, because my normal gap trading doesn't really have a lot of action around now, and my, my thought process is if I'm not going to be trading something that's high odds, why trade it all? Um, so let's get into our cockamamie stocks for the day. Okay? So our cockamamie stocks of the day. Well, first off, I, I want to talk about the markets because I, I think the market is tradable. Okay? Markets gapping up huge. We closed really negatively on Friday. Okay? We closed way down here at 109, right at the lows. Okay? Okay, we closed way down here on Friday, and um, of course we're gapping up about a dollar from Friday's close. So from 110 
we're up about 97 cents on the queues um, today. So, you know, and I'm just going to draw my little pictures. I also had a conversation with Streetman over the weekend. I want to explain this to you. Markets um, tend to close and open at key points. Okay? So, and I know we don't like holding over the weekend, but that's also when the reversals tend to happen. And I want to explain that. I really wanted to hold QLD over the weekend. It's a cheap way to, to play the gap up on the market. But you know, you you gotta you gotta rash measure the rationality, right? Of some of this, okay? So let's just first go. The markets are gapping up, okay? The markets are gapping up. Uh, marketing in a row. That's probably, I got to go do some marketing for the January effects list. <laughs> All right, so you got the QQQ, the SPY, the DIA, okay? We also, I'm going to put on the, uh, the ALTR. Okay, and we'll just, I'll just put a question mark for that. All right, guys. Um, I, l let me go through a couple of stocks. Like, I really wanted to hold Apple over the weekend. Okay. Apple's gapping up, like, massively. It's up to 107.30. Okay, it's up about a dollar. Okay, now, I'm not sure if this is what we're going to do today, but I'm going to put in my little section for vignettes as, as to what's going on. So let's just say Friday, the Friday close was way down here, right? We closed way down here. Okay, so today we're gapping way up here. Okay, so we're gapping way up here. Usually what I would expect is some kind of a pullback. If 50%, that's bullish. If less than 50%, that's more bullish. And I would expect this to go up. So I would expect this to fade. Okay, that's Friday's close. This would be 50%. Okay, and then I would expect us to bottom out and go up. Now... Can we also pull in a double bottom? We might double bottom. Okay. We might double bottom. Or we might go straight up. Now if we go straight up, what we do is we break the five minute high. Okay? Anything anything less than 50% very bullish. And guys, last week Last week, the market was as bearish as bearish can be, okay? I'm going to put CBO, and I'm going to put in um, GBSN, okay? All right. 
So let's see, CBO. CBD, I'm sorry, CBD. CD, CBD. Oh, goodness. Uh, guys, CBD, Brazilian Pro on the pullback. Love it. It's above the moving averages, even though it's a piece of shit. How guys, uh, CHK. Guys, CHK, new high on day. CHK. Woohoo! I got to sell. Mike DeJoy needs to sell. So, so, so. Okay, I sold some. I do like uh, I do like OIH chart wise. Guys, let's see where X is at. Oh, wow. Guys, I literally, uh, X went straight up to 835. I missed a little bit of it. Whoa, guys. Oh. Whoa. I'm going to sell some X here. It's up another 10 cents from where I bought it. Well, no, it isn't. It was up another 10 cents from where I bought it, but I was upstairs speaking to my wife. Jeez. costing me money, this woman. More ways than one. No, I'm just kidding. She wanted me to print labels. Guys, I think X, um, I don't like that high wave reversal bar on X. If it doesn't go up, if it goes back up here, I'm going to offload some. Yeah, I probably should have sold it already, yep. Yeah. Wow, that was crazy. Wow, that was crazy. That was a big miss. That that little spike was a big miss for me. That was the difference, all the difference in the trade. Fortunately, the good thing about daily charts is that you go patient, you'll have to sit through some waiting but you go patient and this will just consolidate sideways and go up again. Let me see what happened in Macy's while I was upstairs. Oh my God. Guys, look at Macy's. I think Macy's is getting ready for another run. See, this is a healthy consolidation. This is a cup, a cup, and a handle. So more than likely, Macy's is gonna is gonna want to see thirty five dollars even. Okay. By the way, guys, X is going up again. I just got filled on some one of my orders that didn't get filled previously.
Excuse me, guys, while I print out some labels for our Christmas cards. She's telling me all the members of my family that are off the list because they don't send us Christmas cards in last year. No, I'm just kidding. We're we are running short on cards. How many people know that conversation? I like mankind. Guys, look at mankind. Great buy on mankind. Thank you, John, for pointing that out. Guys. See, I, I look at FCX like a uh, this little secondary like burst of volume might take it over and take it and break it out now. Um, sometimes stocks break out from 11:30 to um, from 10:30 to 11:30. They also sometimes pull back. So this one looks like it is going to break out. Or at least it's going to make a give the college try. Let's see where X is, guys. On on any move up on X, it's back to the high. I'm going to sell. Macy's guys is going right now. Macy's right now. There's a red star special on Macy's. Okay, John, see you later. Red Star Special on Macy's. Street man. Nice trade on Macy's. Oh, wait, you didn't hold it. You killed it too soon, buddy. No, I, I, I still see you in it. No, you're good. You're good. Nice hold on on Macy Street, man. I would, however, sell some into the whole number, which is what I'm doing. Guys, X as well. What a beautiful pair today, X and Macy's. Guys, look at this baby. Whoa. Who knew? All right, I got to sell some, guys. This is ridiculous. Okay, I sold uh, two of my 500 shares. Hopefully, Street Man, you're selling some as well. Good job, buddy. That's a nice day. You're welcome. See that, guys? Isn't that nice? That was a nice move on Macy's. And we knew the number to get out, too, right into the whole number. Oh. I should have sold it all. Like a scene one. Take it easy, Mario. See you manana. Guys, watch X. If it starts to go here, I'm out. Uh, I'm going to sell some X too because I'm, I'm, what I'm noticing is a lot of the stocks. Well, 
Okay, guys, Macy's, if I get up, I'm going to get up and I'm going to get out. Guys, I did not, have, I had a very good day in my longer term account. My day trading account that I demonstrate here, I, you know, I made 150 bucks. Very small share size, but it, I, I got a little bit worse. I got into a, Macy's a little bit um, at a worse price than most of you, so I had to manage it well. FCX holding up great, guys. I might buy back into this FCX. I'm an idiot. I get scared for no reason. It's just that I, I, I want to make money. And I get like, I've, too many times I've not taken the money. And I'm like, oh no, I need to hold, I need to take my money now. God's sakes, it's a three dollar stock. Six dollar stock rather. CHK is a four dollar stock. Guys, you in the brokerage industry we used to say if it can go to four, it can go to six. Which is where I think CHK is going, six dollars. If it can go to four, it can go to six. The only stock that's really sucking wind is Apple, which I think is because it's Apple. Do you guys follow me? Like, I think it's being held down to be bought. Guys, there goes FCX again. Okay, watch FCX in case it breaks the high. Guys, GoPro as well, starting to turn around. Now, I know most of you probably thought I was absolutely insane. For GoPro, but I like the daily chart. It came into the daily shelf. And guys, Macy's is still looking good. X still looking good. Holding up. My only dog is Apple. And Alcoa. No, oh, but Alcoa guys looks good here. AA. Guys, Alcoa breaking out to the upside. And Duke. Duke, 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 oh, Duke, Duke. Coming back to life on Duke. All right, guys. I have one position left. And I am pretty much done for the day. Guys, MNKD, which I bought today, just a uh, thousand shares. I'm already up twenty bucks. It's 
two cents, maybe more. I think that's that looks good. May even buy more. So now my response, since I'm in all this shit, my response will be, okay, since I have some Macy's and I'm not really up in it, I'm just going to sell it. Oh, wait a second, Macy's going? I'm going to sell it, and I'm going to book my, all right guys, I made $153 trading Macy's, Macy's and X, most of the money was made on X, okay, because my, my price on Macy's wasn't that good, uh, I was a little late in the play, I did make about another 500 elsewhere, My worst trade of the day was Apple, which seems to still be ill. I, I do think that um, I should have faded Apple, which was, you know, my call was to fade Apple. Instead, I did a bottom fishing buy on this, this triple bottom, which it just broke down from. I'm not down that much, though, on it. I'm up on Facebook, however. So, overall, though, I'm doing doing really well today. Streetman doing great, too. Very proud of you, Streetman. Most likely, guys, the market will, will um, bottom out at some point today. We put in a high and a lower high, okay? Um, when you look at this market, this is probably a good buy area. Um, being as that I'm green and flat, I'm just going to go and enjoy my lunch. I have to actually go to the dentist. I'm just going to go and enjoy my lunch. I have to actually go to the dentist again today at 2, so I will not be back later today. But I'm sure Scott will be here in a little bit, all right? Trade well, everybody.